My name is Carson. Welcome back to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how-tos, and reviews. And in today's video, we're going to discuss my Carvana selling experience. So uh, I own and operate a landscape business, and we sold our original work truck to Carvana. It's been a couple months now, finally getting to editing this video, but I wanted to share my experience and uh, we'll uh, pull in some clips from uh, old footage and back when we started this and kind of share the whole thing. So I had the truck listed on Facebook Marketplace for several months, didn't get a lot of um, you know, real movement, so I decided to try something different, looked up Carvana, heard great reviews about it. Um, my biggest concern with Carvana was that uh, being a 15 year old truck, being 175,000 miles, uh, they weren't looking for my type of truck. And, uh, it, you know, in my previous video goes more in depth, but uh, basically they wanted the truck, I'm assuming because it was diesel despite the mileage and the age. Um, several other vehicles that I put in there did, came back with like less than $500 value. So I already had that going for me. They, they wanted that truck and, and the price they offered, $10,880 or $87 something. Um, was only a thousand or two thousand dollars less than what I paid for the truck. So really, after using the truck for two and a half years, three years, uh, I got my money's worth out of it. So went on the website, filled out all the forms, filled out all the information, and one of the things that I put in there was that it had oversized off-road tires. While well, getting uh, down to brass tacks and getting ready to sell the vehicle, kind of getting it uh, cleaned up. Um, you know, I really don't want to let my BFG KO2 tires. We've got a separate video on the channel talking about KO2s versus the uh, Wild Peaks, and we've got a lot of videos um, regarding tire reviews in our, our channel. So wanted to keep those, so I actually had an old set of tires, put on some old mud tires, and uh, we'll jump into the clip here showing kind of that experience. Okay, just put back on the old the tires, the original tires that came on the 2015 flatbed truck. And uh, these tires are super loud. These are a Nitto, uh, pretty aggressive mud terrain tire. And uh, they're 25 to 50% tread life, so I'm gonna send them back Carvana, get rid of these tires, and I'm keeping my BFGs. I just last minute couldn't stand doing that, so I went and paid 80 bucks to have my tires swapped out and uh, cruising back home on the freeway. And it is loud, so so loud. I think Carvana's gonna swap these back out for some stock tires, anyways, so might as well let them go. I was actually looking for a set of used tires to swap onto the stock wheels that I still have, the 16s. Couldn't find anything on a Saturday, so. Carvana gets my nice aftermarket wheels. Um, my first set of aftermarket wheels I ever bought, so I was just gonna try to hopefully keep those um, and then resell them on Facebook, but um, we're just uh, cutting our losses and getting out of here. Okay, how's she look? I think this is one of the best looking tires, depth-wise. Probably 50% tread. I just trimmed up this with the razor blade, so hopefully that doesn't rub anymore. Rears. Um, I want to say 20 to 40 percent tread, 20 to 30. Lots of dry rotting, cracking. I'm curious on this. These are 18s, 20th week of 18. So these tires are four years old. Just took off the BFGs. Was going to try to find a set of U's to put on the factory wheels. Couldn't do that. But we, well, these BFGs will live another day. We can put them on the 2015 when those tires need to be replaced. This tire's pretty messed up, 20-30%. Um, uh, again, 18th week. This front one is probably 20%. And I'm assuming also 20th week, uh, 18th as well. Okay, when I was at the tire shop, they said, did you know your brakes are leaking? And I knew I had a leak. I thought it was an axle seal, but uh, that's a mess. Got some on the exhaust there. Got some flung up here. Um, these tires just got put on. So let's see how much crap is on them. Uh, not too bad. Leaking right here. He said it was the brakes. I'm still thinking it's probably the axle seal. I don't see anything coming out of the brakes here. I don't know where the bleeder is at back here. 
Um, well, I think this will be one of the biggest question marks with Carvana. Are they going to give me crap about this uh, leak back here? But with these new tires on here, this doesn't look as bad. Next up, I got a call from the uh, driver of the Carvana truck. Okay, I just got a call. It's about 1230. They're supposed to be here at 130. Uh, truck driver said, I uh, just called to confirm make sure we're still on schedule. I said, yes, we are. He's like, okay, I'll be there in about an hour. It's about an hour drive. So um, hopefully in the next uh, hour, we got somebody showing up to pick up this truck and we're good to go. Really, the process was super simple. While I was putting my tires on, I ended up getting an email from Carvana. They wanted me to have a notary. So I ended up taking a video call with a notary, signed a notary over the phone on the call with, you know, from my iPhone, was able to sign a notary. Um, and great crazy experience so i signed a notary and i was able to sell the, the truck sign the paperwork everything was basically sold before the carvana driver picked it up got a call and i guess you know an hour before he showed up showed up and the first thing he did was kind of we greeted and we you know met each other he asked for the keys uh, he went around the truck taking pictures uh verified the vehicle started checked the vin number and uh, basically from there, he, we just signed some finished documents and he really didn't do too much to look at all at the truck. He, he didn't even care to test drive it. I asked him if he wanted to take a test drive. He's like, well, as long as it drives on the truck, that's all that really matters. Um, they were concerned about it not fitting. They saw this was a larger truck. So um, he was initially pretty cautious and uh, you know a little bit concerned about that. But he was like, oh, it's only single rear wheel. It's not a double, a dually. So that, that made things easier and it, it fit, you know, I had a crew cab, long bed, huge truck, totally fit fine on that, that uh, Carvana truck. So, so that worked perfect. Uh, one thing that was really surprising to me in this whole process is that Carvana never asks for a photo of your vehicle. I filled out pretty uh, accurate description of the body condition. The condition was rough and uh, really they're, they're good, bad, fair great condition rating is, is really not that inclusive. They, they ask you a few detailed questions, but not really, you know, I mean, you could have sent that thing in, but you know, I don't I'm being sarcastic, but you could have a burnt truck and as long as it wrote, run and drove, then you could sell it to them or uh, as long as it had a clean title. Uh, I know that's, that, you know, missing the bed. I, I don't know how far you could go, but pretty crazy that they just picked it up kind of sight and seen as long as it drove, that, that's all they really cared about. So I'm not sure how long the, the whole process took, I can maybe uh, look on my camera footage and see what how long it took, but again, they called me around 12:30, picked it up around 1:30. Uh, you know, probably a half an hour, an hour for them to pick up and do all the things. And he wasn't exactly being fast. We were chit chatting, and you know, he could tell that I had some heart into the vehicle. And, and you know, we he's like, hey, do you want to? He asked, I asked him if I could film, and he's like, yeah. And then as he's heading out, he you know was like, hey, do you say one last goodbye? So he was a really cool, dude. Really awesome. Um, and, uh, you know, again, took probably more time than what he needed to be there. And it was still only maybe 45 minutes, an hour long experience, really pretty simple, easy, um, loaded up the truck. Um, tires did start hopping on that. I did, you know, tell him, Hey, you know, you, you want to probably put it in four low. He's like, I don't even know how to do that. So I showed him how to do that. And, and that was pretty cool. Um, you know, it will help him out. And, uh, so he loaded it up and strapped it down and and uh, basically he was out of here so that was that was that uh really really nerve-wracking if you ever sold vehicles private party um you always hold the title you always hold um something in your possession the keys whatever else it is um, i guess with the paperwork they did have me you know give them the title and they really 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 requested not to sign the title they did not want me to sign the title that was what the notary was for us because i was giving them uh, permission to uh, sign the title through that uh, power of attorney document or whatever it was that was notarized. So again, super concerned that he's driving off with the title and truck and everything. I, I have nothing. So, uh, you know, Saturday and, uh, you know, I, at that point, I really don't even, don't even know if they're going to give me my full value. He basically said, hey, we're good and drove off. And, uh, you know, it was, I, I knew it was going to take a few days. So I kind of just waited patiently. And uh, sure enough, Tuesday, um, the full offer amount dropped in my bank account, direct deposit, super easy, super convenient. Um, no haggling, no, you know, the offer they gave me is the offer I got. And uh, given the truck's condition, I thought for sure, you know, something's gonna go wrong or they're gonna deny it, decline it, say, hey, come pick up your piece of crap, whatever it is. But uh, I got the full amount in the bank account, can't complain. 
really smooth, easy, convenient process, like I talked about in my previous video. Uh, it had problems. It had a leaking yeah, rear wheel seal. Um, it, I would have felt a little bit guilty selling that private party, but because I sold it to Carvana, you know, it's their, their problem now. They're going to have to fix it up in order to pass it on to the next buyer. They're going to set it to auction. Whoever buys it at auction is going to have to fix it up in order to sell it. Wherever it goes, it's going to have the time and money invested back into it that needs. And honestly, I don't even know. I wish I could track my van and see where that thing goes off to because it would be really curious to see whose hands it ends up in, if it goes to auction, what it goes to auction for. All those super nitty gritty details. But that was my Carvana selling experience. Really easy process. The only hangups, the whole process was me not being decisive and not just pulling the trigger. If I were to just looked it up, saw my price, offered and you know said I agree. I probably had had the whole deal done within a week or two. Uh, really simple, super easy selling experience, and the money was in my bank, you know, cash money in the bank, direct deposit, um, and that money rolled right into my new truck to uh, well to offset my taxes. So haven't really showed that truck too much on the channel, but I got a 2018. L5P Duramax, uh, crew cab long bed, one ton. Uh, my dream truck basically. We bought that from the landscape business and uh, I'm sure we'll be doing a tow test with that one. So we've got a $5,000 towing test video, $5,000 work truck, $15,000 work truck. We got the $30,000 work truck and now we're, I'm gonna call this one the $60,000 work truck. Um, so if you're interested in that, check out those other work truck videos, the towing test videos. Um, and I need to do more videos on the $5,000 work truck. It has quickly become a $15,000 work truck due to repairs. So we will have more on that truck. Um, and whether or not it's better to buy a uh, cheap truck, a middle of the road truck, or a high dollar truck. Um, there's pros and cons to every single one of those. And um, yeah, so that's kind of what we're all about on the channel, talking about landscaping stuff. Like I said, everyday repairs, how to's and reviews. We've got a lot of skid stator, mini X, we got Bobcat uh, T66, we got a Bobcat E35, Dynasty equipment trailer. Um, we just picked up the brand new, you can't see it, but right here underneath me is a brand new 2022, 20, uh, I think it's 23, Honda Foreman Rubicon. This is the 520 um, and already wrecked this thing, so I have a video of fixing that as well. So. Um, lots going on the channel. I also have my Honda CRF 450X street legal dirt bike that I put a set of uh, Michelin Anarchy Wild tires. We're doing a long-term uh, tire video on that. I think we got three, four hundred miles on those tires so far. 50-50 on off-road tires. So uh, lots of stuff on the channel. Might perk your interest. But the Carvana experience is kind of unique to our channel. But I figured there's not a lot of people doing these reviews of a high mileage 15 uh, you know, out a 15 year old 175,000 mile truck. It's a diesel. I think that's part of the reason I got such a good value on it, but um, probably pretty unique. And honestly, there's probably some people really cringing inside for me selling my uh, LBZ Duramax, but uh, let's just say it was not mint. So at least, you know, if it was a mint truck, I probably could have got 20, 30,000 out of it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope it was useful, informative. Check out the other videos on Carvana. Check out our other videos on the channel. And uh, thanks for watching Thrifty Garage. And we'll see you on the next one.